Hey there, everybody. I'm going to go over the landscape tool today. Um, so I actually recorded this video once before. You can see my massive landscape. But uh, I was kind of dumb and didn't have my microphone on. Well, it happens to the best of us, right? So uh, what we're going to go do is do a new level. Um, so we'll do a new level and then an empty level and create that level. And then we're going to go ahead and copy this name because that's our name of our level. But we're going to go ahead and force delete that. And we're going to go ahead and save this as that same name. Big brain moves. All right. Now, let's get into this landscape tool. So let's go to the selection menu up here and select landscape tool. So the landscape tool is fairly straightforward. Uh, you have three tabs up top, which ha are manage, sculpt, and paint. Um, to, in order to create a new terrain in Unreal Engine, there's a button that says new. That will all already automatically be selected if you don't have a terrain already. Um, and then you're going to go into your options and hit create new or import from file if you have a height file. Um, you can supply your terrain a material if you so have one to supply. You can change the, lo the, the location, the rotation, and scale if that suits you. You can change the selection size, uh, the sections, number of components, resolution, and then that'll give you your final component value. So if you're looking for more density, you can do increase. You can increase the so the section sizes or the section per the section component to two two. At the bottom is a fill world button, which will do just that. It'll fill your world with terrain. Blue button will create. It'll take some time to create, depending on your machine. If you have a faster machine, it's fairly quick. So the sculpt uh, tab, it'll it'll after you've created your terrain, it'll move to the sculpt tab, and then you have the sculpt option. And with the sculpt option, you have a couple brushes you can use. You have basic uh, basic round. You have an alpha brush. You have a pattern brush and an entire component brush. The component brush lifts an entire component. Um, the Pattern brush will paint with a pattern. Alpha will paint with an alpha. That being said, after you have sculpted something, so let's uh, get our brush size right good. Sculpt something. After you've sculpted something and you don't like what you've sculpted, you can go ahead and erase that with the eraser tool. Very straightforward, just like any other painting software that you will ever use on the computer. So let's go ahead and get that back. Now this is kind of a rough mountain because it's kind of jagged. And my next tool is the smooth tool and it'll do just that. It will smooth that out. And from being a mountain, now we have a hill. Pretty good. Um, the flatten tool is, say I wanted the rest of my area to be a hill. Then I can start at my hill and drag off and it will flatten everything to that same height. Flip flop that. If you want things to be lower, you can start lower and drag into it and it will flatten what your selection. The ramp tool creates a ramp between two points. It's a drag tool, so you start at your highest point, drag to your lowest point, and then you click the add ramp button and voila, a ramp was added. As you can see, a nice smooth ramp. The erosion tool erodes just like you would expect erosion to happen on the side of a hill. Hydro does the same thing but as if a river did it, right? As if a body of water did that. Noise selection adds noise to your terrain. It gives it life so you can see here. I believe it's based off the Perlin noise system. Retopo doesn't work with edit layer mode on. 
Uh, that's the tick box at the top when you've created your terrain. Uh, visibility allows you to basically mask a hole in your map. Uh, the blueprint button or the blueprint tool allows you to custom paint with a tool that you created using blueprints. So if you have a brush that you have created with your blueprints, you can use that. It's a little more on the advanced side. Uh, the mirror button allows you to mirror a, uh, a terrain in one direction. You can see the, the red marker here will give you that direction. It'll show you that you're mirroring from that side to this side. And if I go ahead and apply, it'll literally mirror everything I did on that side to this side. Select tool allows you to select certain parts. You can see it in white. If you have a material, or, or yeah, if you have a material on your landscape, that it kind of hides this a little bit. To clear it, you just clear your region selection. Uh, copy is basically it copies a selection of the landscape. So if I wanted to copy this part, I could copy the data to the gizmo and use the gizmo to move it to a different location. Um, and then I can clear the gizmo data here. Um, easy for if you build something in there, you sculpt something out in there, you can copy it around the map a bunch if you'd like. Moving on to the paint section, if I had a material on this uh, landscape you could see this work in action but I do not basically with the landscape painting tool you can you have a paint weight option that allows you to paint stuff on your terrain if you have the layers for it you'll see down here you'll have different material types that you can paint with when you do a material instance with a paint, with a uh, texture or a landscape blending layer on it uh, smoothing uh, flatten and noise, they all are, think of them like Photoshop blending tools. They blend different terrain styles and colors and features together. And that's been a quick short on the landscape tool. I hope you guys learned something today. Just keep on crafting.